we are all aware that we need to live in a more sustainable world. But climate change is the mother of all causes. Everything depends on the climate. Not only because the temperature increase is impacting on the ecosystems in an exponential way, in a way that it compromise living, producing, agriculture, mobility, simply life. But the problem is that climate change is going to become irreversible if we don't stop it now. COVID has stressed how interrelated life, all forms of life are, and how crucial it is that we become actors of regeneration. We need to restore the balance of the ecosystems that our lives depend on. Our state of well-being is directly related to the well-being of our planet, on regenerative economy, and on climate action. So, we have been talking since... Uh many decades now about sustainability, which uh, is about satisfying our needs without compromising the future ones. And regeneration is the next step toward sustainability. Uh, we're here to uh, start something very big, uh, to dedicate ourselves to a, a regenerative economy and society and to pledge to some very specific objectives for the year 2030. We have three pledges. The regenerative economy, because all economical activity needs to be become regenerative. Second pledge is climate action. Without climate action, there is no way to be regenerative. Actually, regeneration is the next way towards sustainability. And the third pledge is world happiness as a prerequisite and also the promised land of a regenerative society. So first of all, our organizations, all organizations that would be part of Regeneration 2030 commit to decarbonize before 2050, set a serious target for 2030, and I will tell you what is a serious target, and report data regularly and accept to be monitored every year by somebody else that can say if they are really true and if they are not doing greenwashing. Serious target for 2030 means a target that is in line with net zero emission in 2050. We cannot say now we will not decrease, but we will do it in the final 10 years. No, we want to see the trajectory, okay? Something that is really uh, in line. So we need standards. It is important that our institutions, particularly as a European Union, uh, give us a, a precise uh, roadmap. We need clarity of the rules of the game. Otherwise, we cannot be competitive. This is... Uh why we created the Regenerative Society Foundation with the aim of creating the largest coalition for Regeneration 2030. 